guys, it's Katie with Factory Direct Craft, and today I'm going to show you how to make these Turk Knot coasters. All you need for this project is some rope, a hot glue gun, a pair of scissors, a piece of cardboard, some push pins, and a pen. So once you've got everything together, let's go ahead and get started. These lovely knot coasters are simple to make once you get the hang of it. Um, just pay close attention to these steps and you will be uh, knotting these in no time. So the first step is um, creating a pattern or size for your coaster. So I'm just using a coaster I have um, laying around my house and I'm just gonna trace the outline onto a piece of cardboard. This is gonna give me a rough idea of the size that I want my coaster to be. Once that's done, I'm gonna use push pins to mark five points all equal distance apart. And you want them to be in a star shape. It doesn't have to be exact, so just do the best you can tying it. That looks about right. Since my coaster is so small, about three inches across, you wanna take the um, diameter in inches and multiply it by 2.1 to know the amount of rope that you'll need. So I'm gonna do about six and a half feet of rope. Okay, now that we're all set up, we can go ahead and begin the knotting process. So we're gonna start by laying out the initial outside rope, which will be the pattern for the rest of our um, kind of weaves to follow. And this is the hardest one. So once we get that done, it should be no problem for you at all. So you wanna start by laying your rope um, about an inch away from the bottom tack. And I'm gonna wrap it up and around this top tack in a loop. Then I'm going to bring it, and um, as you're doing it, if you want to pick up your push pins and place them in your rope so it stays, that'll make it a lot easier. Then I'm going to come down and around here. and then we're gonna weave it around. And now that we start crossing over, it's gonna get a little tricky. So we're gonna go over our first piece. Over our second piece. And I'm gonna knot the, um, I'm gonna tack these in. And then coming back up and around. And now we're gonna go under our first piece here, just like this. You can just tuck it under. under this piece here under this piece and under this final piece right in the center. So you'll see now, if we move our pins, we have one, two, three, four, five points or loops. And we're coming right back, um, back around to meet this piece in the middle. So now that I have my pattern done, I'm gonna follow that weave with my rope until I run out of rope. 
So this piece is under, so I'm going to weave under. This piece is over. This piece is under. And those tacks are gonna come in really handy for keeping everything in place. This piece is under. Under. And just continue following that loop around. Now the stiffer your rope is, the easier this is gonna be for it to stay. Um, my rope is not very stiff, so I'm going to have to use hot glue to reinforce this at the end. So just keep that in mind, make sure you lay your pieces next to each other because they will need to be glued in place to make sure they're nice and secure, as opposed to a super thick rope, which would just hold the shape a little more naturally. And if you ever start to get confused about where all the pieces belong, you can kind of take a step back, pull everything out just like that. And there we go. Okay, so I've gone three times around, which I think is perfect amount for this coaster. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the end off here. And we're gonna start securing things in place with hot glue. So first comes the end. I'm gonna run hot glue on the inside of both pieces and tuck it down inside. And same with this end, I'm gonna just slip it under here, a little bit of hot glue, and hide that end as well. Okay, now I'm going to start holding the, attaching these um, so they stick together. So we're gonna do little drop of glue in between each piece and you just want them to lay nice and even. I'm gonna pull my pins out as I continue gluing here. And you can play with your shape until you're happy with the finished product. And you can go ahead and repeat this step until you have your set of coasters. But that is all you need to know to make these Turks Knot coasters. I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this project. Thanks so much for watching.